I firstly wanted to start this video by saying thank you to everyone who has been enjoying the cover releases that we've been releasing the past few years. A few of you mentioned that you'd like another covers album and we have been able to do this. Myself and Ian are releasing a new covers album. This will be featuring some of our favorites from 2023 plus three unreleased songs. This will be over on Bandcamp. The link can be found in the description below. So do go and follow me over there. And of course, this is all building up and leading up to our original album, which will be coming out later this year. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, but you can call me Jen. I'm a singer and a voice teacher. And today I will be looking at a American Idol audition 2024 that happened a few days ago by the time you're watching this it'll probably be a week ago <laughs> as you can see from the title i will be reacting to and analyzing julia gagnon's performance her audition performance on american idol 2024 as always this is a reaction and an analysis video so i will be stopping and talking about the vocals if you'd rather watch the full thing in uninterrupted which i do suggest you do before you watch my videos then i have left the link in the description below i am aware that there is a bit of an intro at the beginning of this video so i will be watching that off camera because i want to get to the vocals with you hence why it's good to watch this video beforehand on your own. If you do enjoy what I do over here, then please do consider joining me over on Patreon. There's lots of fun things happening over there. Otherwise, please do hit that subscribe button and the bell button over here and let's get to it. I'm going to be singing Ain't No Way by Aretha Franklin. All right. Yes. Let's go big. Yep. Okay, no, I'm sorry. I need to stop there and go right. Um, okay, I did listen to the... Uh, I've started about... Well, the singing starts like three and a half minutes in, but I did watch the first three and a half minutes uh, explaining. I'll share a little bit now. Um, Julia was adopted at the age of two. Um, she did find her birth mother and she's doing something big. Obviously, watch the video on your own time if you haven't yet just to get the full understanding but already then it's just such a moving story so this is her doing something big auditioning for American Idol the control of her voice I was not expecting we get this lovely big sound at the beginning there's a little bit of a dip within the uh, larynx as well to get this really warm rich sound but then the agility that comes along with it the like playfulness around the notes as she plays around and riffs around the agility is so smooth then on top of that, she is playing around with the dynamics within these runs, within this, like a word, like whatever she's playing with, she's getting louder and, and, and softer, all so effortlessly. It's like, she's not, she's like, yeah, I just want to do this and I'm going to do it. Okay, let's go beginning. There ain't no way for me love, for me to love. You. Right, let's look at that straight away. So, like I said, like a really warm, open space inside uh, to get this lovely, warm, dark feeling of a sound, really rich. And then the second half, she keeps this, maintains this warm feel, but then there's like a flip and she gets really thin, still beautifully connected. We don't hear a disconnect of the vocal folds, but she gets so much lighter. And that's when she starts playing around with the dyna dynamics. Oh my gosh. For me to love. You. Oof. If you want, let me. Like, do you hear that control? Let me. And then she kind of like draws it back and then comes back, like always changing what she's doing. And she, all with like such a beam in on her face. You can tell that she really enjoys singing and just feeling the music within her. I love that. And she's like there's slight glissandos up to the note as well she's really stretching and playing with what her voice can do this is already like she sung two three four lines and this is already a <laughs> great audition if you want, let me... this is 
like, oh, cry. It ain't no way. That's so good. So it starts with a glossal onset, right? It, it ain't. I think she starts there, right? No way. As she goes up, way. She's actually holding on to, does she goes up to the A? It ain't no way. It, it ain't. She, there is a second. It ain't no way. Yeah. Where? As soon as she hits this, where? She's opening on this A vowel straight away to the vibrato. Thick sound. Then as she goes, as she changes through to the diphthong, way is when she hits the higher note onto this E, which allows a more of a softer quality to come in. So she's really allowing that change to happen and sing through the diphthong. Way. Oh, I cut out. It ain't no way for me to give you all you need. Mm. These notes, she's like hovering on some really like p bending the pitches. It's really, really nice to hear. Um, and this is, again, a great, you know, when you're auditioning and you've got the, the you probably never worked with a pianist before, depending on the who you're coming in with or if you're just by yourself. So you don't really know how they're going to play. Um, you want to come in and be like, I know what I'm doing. I'm not following you because this is my audition. Uh, but there's still got to be a great level of musicianship and connection between the two and oh, it's so beautiful um it just seems so effortless i can't get over it that change if you won't let me give all of me <laughs> Oh, she feels it here. I am loving this. Um, it's annoying that we were outside of the room and then we saw a little bit of like an open, really, you know, letting that chest dominant sound come through. Uh, what note was that? What? Right, let's just hear the note because E flat, E flat five, chest dominant mix belt here. We can hear like a change as she slides up there, really thick, maintaining an element of that chest voice, but losing a bit of that thickness so we are not pulling and reaching up there. Not, <laughs> we can't keep going. And she's actually then modifying that vowel, not keeping on this spread way. She's actually going way and kind of lifting that tongue. So we're making that space a bit more manageable and controllable inside, Ay, but still, dropped onto that A vowel, not going way e, as we kind of did earlier when we went a bit thinner. But really nice. And then as she comes down, you can hear the slight dip. She kind of goes into the sob quality. So I guess it's really hard to talk like that. Sob quality, like lowering that larynx ever so slightly again, just to achieve a little bit more of a distance from that bright ping that we had at the top. Heaps of twang there as well. Lovely full vocal fold closure, getting the most efficiency and use. So we get a lovely strong belt up there. And then always if we dip down, we're, we can like play around with the placement of the larynx again. Ooh, I love that. We really heard that flip then as well. To love, love you. For me to love you. <laughs> if you want, let me, let me, let me, please. Stop trying. Yes. Oh, the um you can hear how it doesn't have this heaviness to it as well. She she has got a wide variety uh, like range up there as well to be able to ah, like she's up there and where are we now? Yeah, F5's up there. I think uh I think that's the highest note. I find really stretching out. The vocal folds are naturally going to thin. You know, to achieve a higher note, the vocal folds 
thin out, right? Stretch like elastic band. That's how we're going to get higher. So if you want to maintain a full sound, we're going to have to make sure that the vocal folds are lovely and resisted. We can hear heaps of this like cry in her voice and ah, that's how we're going to get those vocal folds coming coming together when they're vibrating and creating sound that's how we're going to get this lovely big sound not by pushing lots of volume we're actually relying a lot on that vocal fold closure obviously we need that tick a lot of that twang that twang that tightening of the aes that's what's going to happen which is um just above the vocal folds the areopiglottis sphincter ah oh, but I, lo I love how she's like using her whole body, allowing a little bit of a lift of the chin as well, just to keep that open, but not like reaching up. But then before we get onto that big note, there's, she sets this up so nicely. Now try to be on this B, B. If we were to go pure on a B, e, that would shoot and not be in the right balance of a mix that we need this to be in. B, she's actually opening up to an air valve. B. So this is so important because she wants to take this setting up with her. Play around with a few things, but this is generally the same setting that she wants to stay in. Yeah. E flat, E flat, F, F, E flat. Someone, and it's not someone. Someone, yeah, no. She keeps it right into in like this twang place. It's not nasalized. It's a twang and nasal are two different things. Nasal uh, nasalization happens within the soft. If the soft palate is lowered, not lifted, and twang, like I said, is the tightening of the A E S. So they're two different things. I'm gonna hear how open that sound is. that control up there this is why she has so many colors that she's able to play with this is such a great audition um because you can see what a wonderful voice wonderful instrument that she has and the possible like where she can go and strengthen and develop and continue growing her voice it's so interesting um but you can see the up there where is she up there she's a b b flat yeah i think she's up there she keeps this open on the r vowel i think the word is you so she's allowing that drop. So she's actually getting a really lovely head dominant. No, I'd say it's a really a head voice uh, sound up there. And she's dropping that jaw because you would sound so squeezed up there though, right? So we're dropping that jaw. And the reason why she's able to play with lots of different colors in the middle part of her voice or around the E flat F5, you know, get that feeling lovely and strong is because her head voice is so de uh, developed or like worked and explored her head voice. She's really connected in her chest voice. She's really strengthened and developed in her head voice. So she's able to pick and choose what kind of balance she was in the middle part of her voice. So good. And even before that, all these high, strong, mixed belt uh, uh, quality notes, they are so strong. And she's able to repeat that because she's found such a, uh, a balanced way of doing that without having to really force a lot of volume out. So good. I could talk about this forever. <laughs> that cry in there oh and that diminuendo oh my god she's so delicate Oh my gosh, she literally like stopped and she was like, no. <laughs> um, okay, I want to watch the rest and then I'll come back as well just so I can discuss with you. But um, just having the ability to have this big voice and the reason why this is so impactful is because she's also shown us a more vulnerable, softer quality, playing around with the dynamics within that softer quality as well, not just getting louder when she wants to belt it out and pour her heart out. Um, that's going to be so much more moving and impactful when we have 
ups and downs within the song. If everything was like, yeah, in your face, it would be like, yeah, cool. This is amazing what you're doing. But I mean, should we, you know, it takes it a wow performance to like a whoa. <laughs> And that dip again. Let me oh. That was amazing. Um, did that come out of your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Well, I just watched the ending. Um, she is such a beautiful person. <laughs> Like such a beautiful soul that she then takes through to her performing and singing. Uh, it really speaks to her. It's really something that she's found from deep within. I cannot wait for her journey. Um, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this reaction and analysis video. Let me know when the next video, you know, when the next stage of her on American Idol comes out because I really want to watch more of Julia Gagnon. I think she's incredible and I can't wait to see her progress through this. And thank you all so much for being here. Hit that subscribe button, the bell button and a thumbs up button. Go and check me out over on Patreon and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye.